Welcome to SQL Server Denali, always on Next Gen HDR solution. In this series of video, we are preparing Hyper-V setup to test SQL Server Denali availability group and virtual failover. In this video, I'll cover readable replica and test force failover, which is part eight. And from part one to part seven, videos are available and you can watch them. Let's continue. Well, I'm on node one at this point. Let's see what data we can see. So this is secondary node, as we know. QDC 22 is secondary node. We'll go to that debit. We're back here. Let's validate the management group. Uh, so you have a two available replica primary is 21 22 is secondary let's see in primary we can access the database uh, looks pretty good excellent uh, the same query will do on the secondary node as well well you are able to read the data now let's go ahead on primary and try to insert some rows in this table. So I have the table test one. I'll go ahead and run it five, six times. So insert some rows and I'll quickly go to the second node and run F to see if the data is duplicated. Yes, you can see QDC DB21, all data is updated. Let's go and validate. You can see the data is updated in QDC DB22. It's very fast. I'll go ahead and delete the data. All right, let's go and check immediately if it is replicated. Yes, the table is empty. So we can see the on the secondary node, we can access the data. Changes are pretty instance, even though it's asynchronous. Um, no lag time as such. Let's try to insert a row into the secondary and let's see what do we get. It says fail to update database because the database is read only. Let's go ahead and do the force failover. Click OK. Very simple wizard. All right, so we're good. Now let's refresh to validate we are good. Now QDC TV 21 is secondary and 22 is primary. Let's try to run the same insert statement again. Well, now it allows you to do the insert, so very good. Let's try to insert on the second, on the original primary node, which is right now secondary. And let's see the status here. I get the same error message because now QDC21 is the secondary node. Now I get the error message uh, because QDCDB21 is the secondary node at this point. But you can read the data. So let's see if the last change has been introduced. I'm not seeing the data is moving. So the reason data is not moving is the databases are right now showing as resume data movement. Click and go ahead and click resume data. All right, so QDC DB21 is now updated. All the rows are here. To validate, we'll go ahead and delete the data here we should get the error as it is copy and try to delete it on 22 yes we are able to delete let's go and validate that the changes affected on another node so very good the filler is pretty much working as expected databases are looking green all right so this is the part where we validated the readable secondary and the force failover feature of availability groups in future release 
when on secondary you should be able to do right click task and you'll be able to take the backups all right so we are on 21 which is uh, the secondary node i'll try to take the backup of the database let's see what do we get so as i mentioned backup and restore is not supported on mirroring or secondary replica this is uh, due to its ctp1 so in ctp2 we'll have that feature as well as we'll have a feature where uh, always on dashboard will be available here for you to watch the status of all the availability groups you have in one picture you'll be able to see what is the lag time and everything here you'll see that feature so uh, that's something for the ctp2 for ctp1 so in this video we configured availability groups we tested the failover and we also tested that databases are read only on the secondary side no connection drops or anything in the next video i'll cover i'll configure a virtual name which application will use to connect and will do the force failover to validate how's the impact seen by the client till then goodbye and thanks for watching the video